Hi, I'm Stefan Schmidt, professor of political science and coastal zone management. I'm here in what I call the world headquarters of uh, coastal policy research. We've got our charts and world maps and other things here behind me that uh, we use uh, when we're out doing research and traveling about. And I wanted to um, just briefly talk about the course. Um, you can see here um, in this uh, screenshot that's next to us here the uh, page, actually the home page of the uh, course. And you can see how it's set up. Uh, you will already have done that. I just want to remind you that we've got uh, a syllabus in there and some biographies of us. Uh, instructions on the coastal zone exercise research, brief, brief research paper guidelines, and then some little information about copyrights and plagiarism, a couple of good videos that I, I hope you'll really enjoy. They're, they're wonderful. I think they, they really inspire you and make you, uh, you know, want to study this stuff. And then you will see that uh, we'll communicate by email, but you'll, and we have bulletin board discussions here, but you'll see that each week we've put in um, a folder. You'll see that week one is just about ready to go and open. You'll see the others are still hidden because we're uh, finishing up uh, basically adding some materials. So if you click on one of those folders like that, then what you get is um, the page for that particular week and um, that page will then uh, allow you to um, do the assignments, I guess, that are in there is the point. Um, I'm trying to get get to the top of the page here. You can see that this first week we'll do a lot of stuff with politics and policy making, uh, and and I want to talk about that now uh, for a few minutes, if if you don't mind. Uh, some people get, I think, a little bit either confused or depressed by politics, and I wanted to assure you that it's nothing bad. Politics is inevitable. It, it is a process that I describe, and, and Paul Schmidt and I, Paul Schmidt will be teaching this class and, and helping with it as well. Um, we wrote up some information about what is policy and politics, and almost everywhere there is, in fact, <clears throat> a discussion about the um, basic disagreements that exist between people, and I wanted to show you kind of how that works. So this is um, a um, little short description of what we call the political system, which was um, uh, defined by David Easton in a wonderful study he did. Uh, this is the chart, and you'll see a couple of animations coming up here. First of all, notice that at the top there where that red arrow just pop popped in, we have what are called environments, and there is an external and an internal environment, in other words, a domestic and an international environment. And those environments are very important in determining, you know, where the specific policy issues uh, occur or how they manifest themselves. You'll see that I have um, um, marine protected areas and zoning uh, as two issues that we could discuss. So marine protected areas have a domestic um, or an international as well as a domestic uh, Im aspect to them very often uh, because sometimes they overlap with other countries. So once we know what the issues are and look at the inter and external uh, factors of them, this yellow arrow then moves us into this next uh, column here, which is society. We, we say that that's the inputs because society is filled with all the organizations that exist, the news media, um, labor unions, uh, environmental groups, and so on. This is really civil society here. And on any issue such as marine protected areas or zoning, there will be supports and uh, opposition. So supports means uh, people who um, are in favor of these policies and people who oppose them and, and, and groups who oppose them. So it's how the society aligns itself when any issue comes up. The issues here could be changed to offshore oil drilling, to overfishing, to beach renourishment, or any of the other things that we're interested in. 
Once the discussion occurs in society, it then moves over here to this last column, which is the, uh, where government is, and we talk about government as the place where outputs occur because there, the outputs of government are actually what's down here, this orange box at the end, which is action. Um, these little green boxes uh, tell you that there is a lot of interaction between and among groups in the civil society and in government, both in favor and opposed to, and you have all kinds of uh, discussions going on and, and all kinds of tension builds up over policies, and those are communicated to all three branches of government, of course, the judicial branch, uh, which comes in uh, through litigation, but mostly the executive and legislative branches of government, because that's where policies such as uh, marine protected areas and others are going to be debated, discussed, uh, killed, funded, and so on. Once that process is completed, look at the end of this chart and you'll see what you get is action. You get a law passed and the executive branch signs it and you get policy rolling on something such as, let's say, beach renourishment. David Easton says that the way this works is it doesn't stop there and you can see the arrow kind of curls back and you can see at the bottom here feedback. Um, what is feedback? Well feedback means once a policy has been put in place after a few months or years there is going to be a renewed debate over that policy and that is going to come back here towards the end back into the both external uh, and internal environment of society. You're going to get discussions whether beach renourishment is really worth the cost, whether marine protected areas are too big or too weak or too intrusive and so on. So the political process, to, to make a long story short, is a continuous um, loop in which different policies and different problems enter into the discussion uh, groups in the society, the news media, television, uh, you know, lawyers and others become involved in them. People support and, and people are opposed for many good and sometimes not so good reasons. The political system, the government at the end there has to sort all this out and take action. And then once that action has been taken, then um, the process probably begins all over again. So please look for that as you look in this course at um, all of the things having to do with uh, coastal zone management and coastal policy. Uh, look for the dynamic of politics. It's very dynamic. Don't be disturbed by the fact that there is often uh, controversy and conflict and so on because that is in fact the characteristic of, of politics. Um, and try to sort out as we go through the course what the issues are which we've presented you with uh, and how those are essentially articulated. In this course, it's mostly um, in, in the domestic environment in the United States, but also with international implications, of course. Climate change, for example, is a, an issue that is both domestic and international. So, um, See you in the class, and I look very much forward to working with you, and I know that Paul uh, Schmidt does as well. So see you on the Internet.